Rashida, girl, you got to be crazy to deal with some mess like this. This is the reason why if you got a man, a husband that went out and had a baby on you, run for your life. What's up, cuties? Welcome to Chit Chat with QT. Join me as I discuss hot topics, celebrity news and gossip, reality TV show recaps, and more. Everything that I discuss are my own personal opinions for entertainment purposes only. Now, before I get started, please make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and sit back and enjoy. Cuties, have you guys heard the nonsense that is going on with Kirk and his baby mama? Now, for those of you that don't know, Kirk and Rashida has been married for quite some time. Kirk went out and had a baby with the bird, the sad chick, Jasmine. And guess who had to get up out they bed to go and address a situation when it comes to the son that he had with Jasmine Blue. I'm gonna go ahead and share something with you guys and please make sure you hit the like uh, button for me. But shout out to the Shade Room. I am gonna go ahead and put up the copyright disclaimer. This is allowed uh, under that act of 1976 for fair use. Everything that I discuss are my own personal opinions for entertainment purposes only, and everything is alleged. Now, let's go ahead and look at this video of Kirk. He was called. He had to go to the apartment of Jasmine's because their son was locked out of the apartment. Trifling, trifling, trifling. But I'm going to go ahead and play uh, this little clip. This is Kirk talking to the Popos. Let's go. Oh, okay. Kind of hard to hear. But he's talking to the Popos. At the end, he said that he is in the middle of a joint custody situation. Now, when it comes to this, I think he needs full custody. But where you going to go? Because you're not bringing no baby home to me if I was the wife. But to give you guys a little clarity, uh, Jasmine Blue spoke out to clarify a recent incident that involved her and Kirk's son, Cannon. He was accidentally locked out of their apartment and she's trifling. Okay. I'm going to read what she had to say. Then I'll give my thoughts on it. She said, I would like to clarify the events that took place last Wednesday to ensure the truth is understood. On that day, I was filming a scene and my ex who has played a significant role in my son Cannon's upbringing was looking after him until I finished. Upon returning home, my ex dropped Cannon off and I went to bed shortly after. Later that night, my ex called me to let me know he had accidentally left Cannon's book bag in his car and asked if Cannon could come down to the lobby to retrieve it. Later that night, she said, uh, obviously, she said yes to the ex-boyfriend. When Cannon stepped out, he locked the front door behind him using the building's chirp system, which automatically locks the doors. Unfortunately, he left his phone inside the house, which meant he could not unlock the door when he arrived. Now, for those that's asking, Cannon is, I believe, six or seven. Again, I'll give my thoughts in a second. She said, at that time, I was asleep and unaware of the situation. Hold up. Wait a minute. Your ex called you to let you know he had accidentally left 
Cannon's book bag in his car and you immediately fell asleep after hanging up the phone. Anyway, she goes on to say, despite Cannon explaining that I was inside the house, those around did not listen to him as they were preoccupied with assumptions based on an Instagram story showing me with friends earlier in the day. No, you were preoccupied with sleep instead of being occupied with your son. Let me finish. Even though building maintenance and officers had access to my apartment, no one thought to let him in to wake me up. Instead, they contacted Kirk, who eventually picked Cannon up. Wait a minute now. This big confusion is going on, and I think she wasn't there. That's what I think. Because the first thing, in my opinion, that the maintenance man and the popos are going to do is to go to that apartment. And if Kirk had to leave with Cannon, in my opinion, Cannon was there by his damn self. Anyway, she said, regardless of this unfortunate situation, I take full responsibility. Nothing like this has ever happened before, should have never happened, and will not happen again. I hope this clears up any misunderstandings and provides context to what happened. Thank you for understanding. I don't understand a damn thing. I don't understand how you allowed your son to be unattended, going possibly down an elevator and all of that by himself at night. I don't understand that because guess what? The son could have been snatched. The son could have been essayed by somebody. I don't understand that. Then, again, I don't understand how you answered the phone for the ex-boyfriend and then all of a sudden you knocked out sleep. You obviously had to get up and tell your son, go down there and get the book bag, which your arse should have went down there and got your son's book bag, or you should have allowed the ex-boyfriend to come up and bring the book bag. But no, you were tired. You were sleepy. And you sent your son down there. How trifling. How trifling. And as I stated at the start of this video, I do think Kirk needs to go ahead and try to get custody. But again, where you gonna go? Because look, what you're not going to do is get up out my bed to address anything when it comes to somebody that uh, uh, you slept with while we were married. That's what you're not going to do. And this is why I don't understand Rashida. Uh, somebody in the comment section said this, and they are absolutely correct. They said that we hear more about Kirk and Jasmine than we do Kirk and Rashida. The only thing we hear about Rashida is she's a damn fool for staying with Kirk. But we just saw a couple days ago Kirk uh, smiling all up in Jasmine's face and talking about she comes to the door naked and all of that. And I believe it. Typical sad chick. See, you can uh, move on in quotation marks when you see that the man didn't leave his wife. But guess what you're going to always do? Try to tempt that man to leave his wife. So I, my own personal opinion, I do believe that she was coming to the door naked and all of that. Then we just saw her trying to make Kirk look bad, uh, saying that he's not actively involved in the little boy's life. He's only seen him uh, 20 times in a year. He don't know the teacher name and he don't know this. This is why you leave, ladies. I be damned if you're going to subject me to a lifetime of misery because you decided to go out there and fool around and you got a baby. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, Rashida, like I said, you got to be cray because ain't no way in the world I would deal with this, period. Yeah, so Kirk, go ahead and do what you got to do, but guess what you're going to have to do? 
file these papers, sign these papers, and go on about your business. Yeah, go ahead and get your son, but take him on somewhere. It's too much. It is too much. So I just wanted to come to you guys to bring this story to you. Um, just a little quick take. But I do want you guys to drop down in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Do you believe Jasmine Blue? Do you believe Jasmine Blue? Do you think that she was knocked out, sleep? Didn't hear the little boy trying to get in the house. Didn't hear the popos. Didn't hear the maintenance man. Didn't hear Kirk calling her. Didn't hear nothing. That girl was out on the town. Allegedly, she's a scripper. And I can guarantee you this, my opinion only, she probably was out working or entertaining somebody else's husband. I don't even think she was there, period. Because, I, you know, I just don't get how you are that knocked out. Are you using something that will cause you to be that knocked out? It's just not making sense to me, guys. But as I mentioned, thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you can, please hit that like button on your way out. Share the video with your friends. Definitely make sure that you are subscribed and drop down in the comments and let's chit chat about it. Chat with you guys soon. Bye. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat. Chit chat. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat with QT.